Hi everyone, welcome back to another anime review. We are reviewing Muscle Magic and Muscle. This will probably be the last anime review of the year, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So our, mu our main character is like Saitama, except for he can take a... Although he doesn't kill everything one fucking punch. However, he kicks the crap out of everyone. Like a Scorpio, guys who know magic and stuff. However, our main protagonist doesn't know magic, so that's a bad thing. However, when it comes to... um. Uh, our main protagonist, he beats the crap out of everyone who does know magic and everyone's scared shitless even though they don't know he knows magic except for at the very end of the first season. Um, our main protagonist tries to go to jail because if you don't know magic, you got thrown into jail. Pretty much, so to speak, your typical anime. He's also an oddball, but that's because he looks like Saitama in One Punch Man. So... That's, uh, except for he has hair, but that's beside the point. He loves his cream puffs and he will make cream puffs even if he makes it out of magic, because that's how he likes his cream puffs. Which I don't understand that concept, but whatever. So that's rule one. Uh, he be friends with a girl who's blonde hair. Now, the girl with the blonde hair is the only female of the group. She's in love with him, because at first when she gets introduced, her goal was to stop him by shackling him with magic shackles, and he just breaks it off like it was nothing, because the guy's a muscle-bound freak. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to beat him? So that's the main gist of things. However, she falls in love with him because of the fact that after he runs away from her, she gets attacked by, she's about to get killed by a monster that was in this maze because he has to pass this magical thing to go into school. Uh, he decides to do the same thing, but um, he, sent, he ends up saving her. And then they pass through the maze by just making a hole through the fucking whole maze. Like, for example, if you're in a maze and you have to go t twist and turns, he says, fuck that. He just flips them off and just starts punching through a wall until he gets to the very end. <laughs> That's like called cheating mode in its finest. And the fact that it's pretty fucking funny on how he does it. It's pretty awesome. Everyone gets pissed off and then she falls in love with him and then blah, blah, this. Um, she's also kind of dense too. She's also stupid, but she gets passed in anyway because she, because he wants to help her, his friend. So our next protagonist, uh, his next friend is the guy who has a to two hair, co hair color style hairdo and he gets bullied into trashing his magic, magic, um, uh, his magic books, but the problem is though is the fact that the guy doesn't know magic. So why the fuck did he? Why the fuck does he know that? Why the fuck does he need the books in the first fucking place? And then the bully decides to um uh, decides to ta target him. So when he beats the crap out of his best friend, his roommate, because that's his roommate, and he thinks he's an awesome person. He forgets his books, so he decides to see his book, and then. The bully says you should hang out with us. So you know what the best thing to do is? He slams his face into the fucking floor. And that's pretty fucking satisfying to be honest with you. Because he's being a massive dick. Now the funny thing is. Is that he could have gotten expelled. Because the, the bully. His father is the whole entire principal. Of the whole entire freaking school. So that's a bad thing. But luckily the higher ups. The higher up, which is the guy who is pretty much the nicest guy in the world, decides to um uh, lean up towards this way so he doesn't get expelled. We're in trouble. So that's the main gist of things. Now then, our third character has blue hair and he's pretty much more of a rival to him because he knows what the hell he's doing. However, when it comes to the final episode, I kind of got I got kind of confused on what the hell happened to him, but. And they might see it say in the next few seasons, but that's beside the point. He has, um, he is very smart. He knows a lot of magic and he knows how to move gravity. He's from a higher, higher up and he has two lines. By the way, the more lines you have on your face d will depend on how much magic you can use. He knows gravitational and he can use it without a doubt. The thing is, and this is the main gist of things. Is the fact that he has a sister complex where he loves his sister, but his sister is about to lose her magic powers. And he gets kind of worried because she's going to get thrown in the sandbar. By the way, if you don't have magic in this, wor in this world, you will be thrown in jail and then tortured to death until you fucking die. Which I think is pretty fucked up. Which our main protagonist has the same issue. But however, he is so jacked that he can fuck anyone up. Like the first... 
when they try to arrest him on the first episode, the guy throws a fucking magical ball and he just kicks it like a soccer ball and just kicks it towards him. And it's pretty fucking funny. He uses those magic wands like, can he really use magic? No, he throws the fucking wand at him and cuts him. It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> It's a joke, pretty much, so to speak. So that's the main gist of the main thing. So he wants to save her sister by becoming the god thing, so that way he can save her. So that's the one thing that he wants to do. Now, our fourth main character, which is guy with red hair. You can't miss him. He's kind of a hothead, but he knows fire magic, which is kind of obvious because he has fire hair. But the main gist of him is that he can't talk to girls, but he wants a girlfriend, but he hates pretty guys, apparently, because he's a fucking psycho. Um, so pretty much, so to speak. Um, now, our main protagonist wants to be friends with everyone, which is kind of, which is kind of the opposite of Saitama, who just wants to beat the crap out of everything with one punch. However, our main protagonist does get his ass kicked. However, he is very fast. He knows how to fucking beat the crap out of people. And he can also take a fucking beating. Uh, pretty much, um... He gets sliced and diced. This guy has a sword. He slices and dices him. Stabs him in the abdomen. And the guy takes it. And then he punches him in the face. Like like it was fucking nothing. Like this guy takes on a fucking giant fucking scorpion. And makes mincemeat of him. And it's pretty fucking funny. On how the fuck this guy kicks the shit out of everyone. Now. To become, to become the head burrow. Of the whole entire magic world. You have to collect these coins, which is bronze, silver, and gold. Gold are the more gold you get, the more gold coins you get, the more you're uh, you can become a higher up, which is a good thing. That's the main gist of things, and that's why I like about it. However, I don't know how the story's gonna st start in the second season because now everyone knows that he doesn't know magic because he his secret gets found now, and that's the main gist of things. So that's it. Okay, now when it comes to our main protagonist, if when it comes to the main atmosphere of the anime, it feels more along the lines of One Punch Man, just like more badassery. And I think that's the main problem I have with it. Like, it feels more of the same of One Punch Man with Saitama, the main character. It's just that he has more personality. However, he's still more of along the lines of an emotionless person, just like Saitama, except for he likes his cream puffs. That's the only difference between the two. But my main thing is that he has more badass moments than Saitama does, which is good. But he looks exactly like Saitama, just with hair. And that's the main gist of the problem I have with it. However, I do like how the comp, comp things do. Com when it comes to the main character beating up people who know magic and beat the crap out of them with no magic whatsoever just with his fucking muscles. It's pretty badass on how he does it. Like he takes on the guy with the sword like I said before. He also takes on a guy who can like you know turn people to watch you know he doesn't really fight the guy with turn to stone. Um because the guy with the two head hair has a brother who's badass and he kicks the crap out of him. And then he finds and then he helps him out fight out the stuff but whatever. Um, there is a, there is there is one other plot that might go into the second season if they do make it, which they probably will. Um, there's at the very end of like episode ten or eleven or twelve, the person that's that runs the school is out because of uh, the fact that there are a bunch of serial killers that are on the loose, and he is tasked to stop them, and that's what they do. Um, I don't know how that plot's gonna go. But it's going to be really fucking interesting. But my honest opinion though. Um, is the fact that this anime is really fucking fun. It's really fucking awesome. However. Even though. I'm, I, if it gets a second season. I'll probably give it an 8 or a 9. But for right now. I'm going to give it a 6. Just because of the fact that. There's just this one problem I have with an newer animes nowadays. And that's the fact that I've watched over, I have watched 375 animes to this point. From beginning to end. And that's not including the animes that I've started watching but never finished. So I've watched my fair share of anime and this anime is pretty much your typical Saitama. Except for instead of killing 
One Punch. He becomes more of a badass because One Punch is just a parody. This anime is a parody. But it has at least more character development. But the problem is, though, is the fact that I just feel like I've seen this anime in bunches of times. So because of that reason, I'm going to step off away from watching genres like parody anime, comedy anime, and... You know, that stuff. So, that's... I'm giving this anime a 6 out of 10. If it gets the second season, it's going to move up to an 8. And I will definitely watch it because it was fun to watch. Um, I know I'm being harsh on it, but that's because of the fact that I've watched so many goddamn animes that they act the same. So, and the fact that I've wa been watching a lot of isekai, comedy, and parody animes for the last, like, few months. So, I'm giving this anime... Uh, uh, 6 out of 10. If it gets sex season, I'm going to move it up to an 8. So, at least it's popular. Because that's really good anime. i just been watching too much anime of the same genre. So, because of that reason, we're going to move... The next anime review is going to be... We're moving back into sports. And we're going to be doing golf. Now, when it comes to the golf anime... The last golf anime was Dohan. And I still fucking hate that anime. Yeah, 4 out of 10. Watch the review... Watch the, review, watch the review of that golf anime. But the next golf anime is going to be a lot better. I tell you that much. Because the last golf anime is pretty fucking bad. Which I would like to say this. If you have a tournament and you can only use three fucking clubs. It's like you're asking yourself to fucking lose. But for some reason they fucking won. Which is, which is fucking what the fuck. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. And always. Stay positive, everyone. Like I'm, this will probably be the last anime review that I do for the rest, for the whole rest of the year. If I finish off the other anime, the golf anime, that will be the last anime review for the, for the whole year. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day and take care.